Recently, I lost 55 pounds with ChatGPT. When it first put me on the diet, I thought I was doomed. It just looked like another low calorie plan, but somehow it worked. And 55 pounds later, I still don't fully understand why. So I asked ChatGPT, what is the best diet according to all the evidence? Not opinions, just hard data. So I had two rules that it needed to follow. The diet must show significant weight loss and that weight must stay off for at least a year. So I set ChatGPT loose on the research. After 20 minutes of scanning all the research online, it came back with the results and they were honestly kind of shocking. Low carb versus low fat? Low carb gives faster weight loss at the start, but by the end of the year, both had similar weight loss. What mattered most was which diet the person could stick to. Mediterranean diet, great for health, good for the heart, easy to follow, but if you didn't watch the calories, you pretty much didn't lose any weight. Vegan vegetarianism worked well for some, especially early on, but after a year it was about the same as every other diet, and adherence was low unless people were highly motivated to take that lifestyle. Intermittent fasting, this was found that there was just no magic. It only works because it helps people eat fewer calories. Without calorie restriction, it did nothing. It did help with adherence because a lot of people preferred to do the intermittent fasting way of cutting calories as opposed to consistently cutting calories. And very low calorie diets, these showed the biggest weight loss after one year, nearly double that of other diets. The key wasn't just low calories, it was that people didn't have to think. Meals were prepped or provided, and that removed a lot of friction with food choice. But adherence was tough for most. So what did the research show? The conclusion from ChatGPT was that no diet was the best. Across the board, people lost about 5% of their body weight if they stuck to it. The only common factors that predicted long-term success were not the diet, but calorie restriction and adherence to the diet. So that changed the question, not what was the best diet, but rather what makes someone stick to a diet. And so ChatGPT came back with the top 10 adherence factors based on the research. And that's where it hit me. I realized ChatGPT had built all of them into my plan from day one. So let me walk you through them and show you how AI nailed it. Number one, clarity of plan. People follow diets better when they don't have to make food decisions. ChatGPT plans my week, generates my shopping list, and gives me my meals daily. There's no decision fatigue. The second was early momentum. Seeing weight loss early was a good predictor of long-term weight loss success. I broke a six-month plateau within a week using ChatGPT and that lit the fire again. Number three was hunger control. Basically, a lot of protein and a lot of fiber are very satiating and equal less hunger. ChatGPT gave me a diet with over 200 grams of protein and slow burning carbs. I honestly went from starving on past diets to feeling full with carbs for the first time. The next is preference alignment. The best diet fits your life. I've had vegan friends, meat lovers, and even I did a Mexican themed week last week, all on ChatGPT plans that fit tastes, goals, and budget. The next is environmental control or reducing those environmental triggers. Temptation fades when your environment is structured and you don't have that temptation. My food is planned, 
my fridge matches that plan. No what I should eat moments, no indecision. I know what I'm eating every second. Number six is accountability. Weekly meetings and coaches have been shown to triple success rates on diets. ChatGPT is my coach and my therapist. If you've seen my latest videos, I'm always saying to check in with your ChatGPT daily so you have that accountability. ChatGPT checks me in, it guides me, and now my Discord adds even more accountability. Links in the description if you want to join. Number seven is emotional regulation. Most people don't quit from hunger, they quit from emotional eating. ChatGPT helps me journal, it helps me reflect, and it helps me self-correct. It's my 24-7 therapist when I need one. This is an interesting one, identity shift. Long-term success on diets have been shown when people stop identifying themselves as someone trying to lose weight and instead see themselves as someone eating healthy and trailing daily. ChatGPT reminds me of what I've built. Even if I'm feeling low, it reminds me of my victories even if they are off the scale. It's not just a number, it's momentum, discipline, ownership. Number nine is tracking. People who track their calories and their macros succeed. ChatGPT logs everything. Calories, protein, fat, even habits. It analyzes and adjusts based on how I feel. If I'm hungry, it finds what the problem is and fixes it. The other week, I was, I'd been hungry for a few days. I came to it and said, I'm feeling really hungry. And it said, you haven't been eating as much fat as you should be lately and your salt's been low. It was those minor changes and my hunger completely disappeared. Number 10 is one that's close to my heart. Flexibility over perfection. Rigid diets show low adherence. Flexible ones keep you going. Over the last few months, I've learned that success isn't about perfection. It's about failing and getting back up and going again as quickly as you can. ChatGPT taught me that failure isn't the end, it's a part of the path. I've bounced back faster than ever because I fail, I talk to ChatGPT and it gets me back on track without any shame. I honestly didn't expect this outcome. I went searching for the best diet and I found that none of them won. But when I asked what drives adherence, I realized I already had it. ChatGPT wasn't giving me a diet, it was giving me the structure for success. Every tool, every safeguard, every psychological support, that's why I didn't quit. That's why 55 pounds has been lost. And that's why people in my Discord are succeeding too. So what's the best diet? The best diet is the one that's built for you, adjusted in real time, reinforced with feedback, identity change, and accountability. And that diet, my friends, is called the ChatGPT diet. Not because it's low carb or keto or plant-based, but because it's built on the science of adherence and adapts like no human coach 